Hi Scorpio, this is a Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111. I'm coming to you today with uh, your love reading for couples only uh, in 2017 in October for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. While I was shuffling the cards, Scorpio, um, I was getting messages from Spirit of like a gift coming to you from Heaven. Uh, you know, the universe sending you uh, some type of like gift, okay? Uh, I also saw soulmate and twin flame relationship that you're in at this moment. And I also saw that it was like uh, you got your wishes coming true. But I also saw, well, saw, not I saw, but sorry, the messages I was getting through, the messages that were coming to me, sorry, while I was shuffling your cards. When I see C, it's because I see with my third eye. My third eye is open, and so... When I say that I saw it, that's, that's how I see it because I close my eyes while I shuffle and um, I get images, okay? And um, so I saw that um, in the past uh, you were carrying a lot on you, uh, Scorpio, uh, things weren't going right, right. Uh, probably you were also, um, you were carrying a lot of on your shoulders, a lot, a lot on your shoulders. Okay, so that's what I got. Now, um, it's 20 years, uh, for those of you that don't know me, it's 20 years that I've been doing card readings in my community. Uh, and I am a different kind of tarot reader. is because I do um, channeled messages only. I don't uh, use the card always as a face card value to give you a reading. Normally, I put the cards down, I connect with spirit, and, con and spirit con uh, bombards me with a lot of messages that I could, uh, uh, a lot of messages for Scorpios or any other sign, of course. And uh, Spirit has been urging me for the past year to go on YouTube, to go live, and uh, and to share my messages and my channeled messages out there. So that's why I'm here today on YouTube. So I'll be um, when I you see that I'm uh, doing this where I'm stop and I have to articulate it's because I'm getting so much like information at the same time that I need to stop and try to articulate into words because the messages are very quickly very quick sorry very quick and they come in very quickly for me so uh, I'm gonna just shuffle them a bit more okay because I shuffled them already as like I was telling you before so this is for Scorpio Sun Moon and Rising for couples only I will be doing one uh, also for singles okay uh, soon, I'm gonna give us. Uh, I'm trying to reach out as much um, if uh, Scorpios as possible. Uh, but if this doesn't resonate with you, check your Moon sign and your uh, Rising sign and Venus, and then you could do that on Google for free. Okay, um, it's a birth chart, free birth, uh, birth chart astrology, and um, usually through my message um, channeled messages, something will resonate to you. Well, that's for you, okay, uh, it won't be for all of you, but it will be for most of you, I see a beautiful, uh, when I did Scorpio, my general reading for Scorpio, for those that didn't see it, I got beautiful energies, and um, it was a beautiful reading of all your dreams coming true, and uh, I see this too uh, when I was doing your love reading, okay, so this is for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising, Oh, I'm so happy for you, Scorpio. Because I know Scorpios are, um, they're the only signs that do, that go, well, not almost, but mostly water signs like Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces go through this on a daily basis of transformation. But Scorpios um, also, oh, it's beautiful. Scorpios, uh, okay, um, they go through transformation on a deeper level. Okay, and I know that a lot of Scorpios have been going through a very rough time lately. Um, I love my Scorpions. Okay, beautiful. Um, there we go. And, um, oops, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to try to connect with uh, your with spirit here because it's already starting to, and there's a lot of messages, and sometimes the messages doesn't have to always be for this the specific person unless uh, spirit just wants me to give one message, I follow through. 
uh, like I said, Scorpios are very, very sensitive, and they they go through this like um, they're so deep inside that for them sometimes it's hard to open their heart to somebody. But when they do, uh, they love for the rest of their lives. And when they get hurt, uh, they hurt really bad. Okay, so this is for um, so um, right now Scorpios in the past. Uh, or not even in the past. But I'm just gonna take one more card for the past. Give me a card for the past. For... Yes, in the past you suffered. Um, you suffered uh, immensely. Um, um, you know, probably you suffered from a broken heart, a third party situation, and uh, you uh, you felt that uh, someone killed you or backstabbed you in the back. And uh, but that was the end of um, the end from what it shows me here and what spirit is saying was the end of your problems, end of your uh, heartache, end of everything that bad could happen to you because this was a, something karmic that you had to go through, Scorpio. It's telling me at this moment that you are seen clearly on uh, you are clear on uh, you have a soulmate relationship in your life right now um and it's this this relationship came as a gift okay it was gifted to you from the universe from god from the angels whatever you you know you oh, sorry i didn't mean to do that you're uh, from um whoever that you uh pray upon or it was uh, given to you and uh it feels like um you have known each other in the past it could be uh, if you you are a twin flame it means that could be it but i see it more as a, a twin flame soulmate which is a, it's the same thing meaning that you guys came together and what you're worried about scorpio okay is that you worry that your 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 love one um, if you worry about uh, that this because of the past that you got hurt okay Scorpio with a third party situation you think it's gonna happen again and you're gonna lose this person and uh, the love is not gonna be enough to uh, as to um, to grow but you have um, what I see that right now this moment I'm just gonna try to put the cards out a bit more here so right now you're taking time out for yourself and you're uh, because uh, this is like a, a relationship that happened like very quickly, like out of the blue, and you fell in love very quickly. You haven't been together for a long time. I would say five months, okay? Um, five months, and uh, you're taking your relationship to a next level. You are moving in together, or you already moved in together. And uh, right now, you're just like steadily going through it without you're not going to rush this relationship because you really want this to work out because this is karmic and you are going to have a happy home you need to have patience okay scorpio because it's it's a beautiful reading but you just need to have patience take time for yourself take time maybe together with this person um and i really like um get you know because you you are a bit different from each other okay um you're not the same nationality uh and um you know, it could be that there's, uh, it could, this could be um, another, uh, um, I'm getting uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that came into your life. I'm also getting um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. I'm also getting, um, I'm also getting, um, it could also be a fire sign. Fire sign, I'm getting all the signs here, okay? But you are... A twin flame relationship and you are worried that things will not work out please let go of your past Scorpio because this is a beautiful reading okay I'm just gonna find I'm just gonna ask spirit give me uh, some closure um, cards for you um, oh there goes one okay yes uh, not to worry okay because uh, I, I see that you're worried here that you're scared that uh, there's gonna, that you're gonna get hurt again and the uh, spirit is telling me, uh, please do not worry uh, that this was set up by uh, your angels and the universe and spirit. They were working very hard to bring you guys together. And uh, and he wants you or she wants you. Uh, when I say spirit, uh, you know, he or she um, wants you to move on with this person in grace and happiness and integrity. Um, 
you know, uh, if there was a bit of harsh words sometimes back and forth, it's because you're twins. And you have to understand that sometimes, um, you know, you say one thing, they'll say something else, but you mean the both same thing, just to tone it down a bit. You don't have to scream your opinion, you know. All you need to do is sit down and really talk about it. Here's another, um, yeah. You know, um, there, there's going to be movement forward. I see this um, into a new home. A lot of you are going to move in together, like I said, in your new home. Okay, well, give me the completion, um, a couple of cards for completing this reading for Scorpio couples, sun, moon, and rising in uh, October 2017. Okay, right now you may be feeling like, you know, that you may be feeling that, you know, uh, because of the energies that are around you, okay? And sometimes when you give a reading in October, it doesn't mean that everything's going to happen in the month of October. It could take a month or two, depending on the person's growth and how they are healed, okay, uh, Scorpio. But I could tell you one thing, okay, is that right now, uh, while I'm... Um, right now, while I'm uh, giving this reading to you, the energies are very, like, scattered lower because... Pluto went direct in, on September 3rd, I think, or 4th, or 5th, if I'm not mistaken. And Mercury went direct on, on September 5th. And I'm filming this on the new, on the full moon in Pisces, okay, which uh, for water signs, and I'm a Cancer, uh, my, okay, um, and my, weather, uh, my fellow uh, water signs, uh, we're going to be feeling a lot of energies from the world that is negative because Pluto brings back all the 3D emotions. Oh my God, that was like beautiful. I love when Spirit does that. And uh, so the thing is, is that uh, Spirit wants you to open, be flexible, open, uh, open your like um, horizons. Okay, there's uh, there's movement forward, and there's so many possibilities for you, and only uh, in love, because I also am getting uh, the money card here. Okay, uh, whatever project you were working on. In the past, whatever is something is that was creative that was bringing passion to your heart, is is gonna come to fruition. Okay, if you you have to step out of this comfort, your comfort zone, and take that chance, Scorpio, because this person that's here for you, um, is the best thing he or she ever came into your life. Okay, um, there's not even gonna be any more confusion. I don't think I don't think spirit. I think. One more card? Is that one more card for Scorpio? Or, um, you know, keep giving yourself self-love. Self-love yourself, whether you're a man or woman. Just know that in life, it's never going to be roses with your twin, okay? You're going to have your ups and downs. But just know that there's... if um, that uh, this, What I see here is movement forward. You're, you're, and you moving forward with this person and living with this person and dreams coming true and a happy home and happy family i really see beautiful things here because it's karmic and you're you're meant to be together okay you're meant to be together it's karmic okay and stop worrying about uh the past please let go of the past scorpio please because this type of energy right now is very important that you stay focused and you are creating your life you are like a magician you are co-creating your life and everything that you're having right now and in your near future will come true if you keep your thoughts positive and clear and with love. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Okay. So now I'm going to pull out a card from the universe. Okay. One card pertaining to this these messages that you've got here. Okay. It's for Scorpio, Moon, Sun, and Rising. For October 2017, couples only. Whether I asked you, universe, to give me one card for Scorpio. Okay, now oh, one card came out. So I'm going to show you two. It's a 26, okay, and it's this card. But because it came out too quickly, I will not give you this card. But you could look at the card at number 26, okay? I'm going to put it back in the deck. If it decides to come back out again, that means it was meant for you, okay? Because sometimes it happens that one card falls and it falls. And I know when it, it comes from spirit, okay? It's like spirit has a different way of shooting the cards out. Okay, I'm just... 
Yeah, so it's one card and it came out. This is the card for you. Number 13, okay, which equals number 4, which equals foundation and home, okay? But you could look at the card and maybe you could feel something from the card. What you, your intuition tells you from the card. It's a beautiful card. I don't know if you could see it, but it's very beautiful. So I'm going to read it from you because this is only for to read. And this is our messages from divine guidance from the universe, okay? Number 13. Opening. Your intuition and psychic connection is open and flowing, allowing you to access higher realms of knowledge and understanding. Sometimes when we receive guidance or information from these realms, it can be a bit confusing or unclear. There's a lot of information moving through your subconscious that your subconscious mind has to process. It does get easier in time. The more you use it, the more stronger it becomes. Just remember, this open connection is how you are naturally meant to operate. You are now in direct communication with other realities and your higher self. So you're opening. You're opening to new ideas changing your thought patterns as well, opening to uh, the messages that come through to you. Though that number 26 fell, I feel like uh, Spirit is telling me that I should read that one too. So you're getting a bonus. And it's an um, elemental, it's called. This elemental energy is calling you to connect to the, to the mighty and loving life force of the planet. Try gardening, get a houseplant, or go for a hike, or sit on the grass in the park. Open yourself to the energy of the earth in every activity you do. Feel the pulse of life in the planets. Embrace the magic of creation and play within the beauty and bounty that Mother Earth provides. Give your gratitude and prayer to all that you that give your gratitude and prayer to all that you eat. Creating an intimate connection with Gaia, Gaia Mother Earth heals the earth and opens you to new levels of energy, connection and communication in a very powerful way. So, Scorpio, I hope you liked your reading. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye. Love you.